Welcome back. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Some of you are crazy. <laughs> one. Anyway, we were talking about intuition because you know things. Now, I think it's just a deep level of knowing from the universe or whatever. Sherry mm -hmm. says it's your ancestors. I'm personally afraid of ghosts. They're knocking on your door. So. Like, bitch, wake up. Okay. Yeah, I don't see, I, when you say ancestors, what do you mean? <sighs> like right now, my daddy is in this house. Okay, hi. Studio, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> no, we're big time now, cut that shit, dude. Anywho, I, I don't, you, how we were raised to believe in ghosts and they're bad and all of that, I don't believe in that. I feel like, mm -hmm. I, when I say ancestors, I mean those who have passed on who were really close to you, who mm -hmm. are, because everybody's that. not assigned to you. I yeah, personally I feel like my grandfather and my father are like mm -hmm. really, really, it, you know, I don't want to sound crazy. No, 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 no. But you know, they, I, I, just, I, I mean, I wouldn't want you to then call, I, I need to keep these reference in mind when, if you ever decide to keep calling me crazy, but continue. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, they're just, they're just there to guide me sometimes. Like we were saying earlier, you know, you could be reckless, but be responsible. They're mm -hmm. like, Sherry, remember, yeah. remember, you know. But like you said, whatever you call it. Yeah, no, I get it. Cause I mean, I, I mean, I, my mother has passed. I would hate to think that she has observed some of the fuck shit that I have been doing in the past 20 odd years. But you know what we get I from? I am sorry. We get it from somebody. And I sometimes would... it's usually our DNA. Oh yeah, both of my parents were, you know. I mean. I, this, this, this didn't come from nothing. Right. This, this didn't come from a boy. So she's probably like, yes, Cam, girl, she's get it. Yes, I'm not proud of you. Not I'm pr Cause you know what, you have the corn. Probably not. And that's all, all last weekend, what you did? Uh, nothing. Let's, tell, let's, let's talk about it. We, no. You wrote a movie? Actually, no. Oh. I was ready to hear a juicy story. There was no juicy story to be told. Back on topic. Back we're on so topic. Off topic. Anyway, so intuition. That's it. Aries, what is it? Scorpio. Is it the shit. best? But I think the thing is, is that is it your intuition or is it sometimes, your fear? Right. I was getting ready to say sometimes it's insecurities. Sometimes right. it's the negativity that surrounds you. So that's the thing because it's kind of you just never like know. you have to be. I think. I, honest, I get it, because there's something, you know, there's like this little voice in the back of your head mm -hmm. that says, oh, maybe you shouldn't, or no, don't trust that person, or yeah, that bitch is sleeping with your man, I wouldn't trust that hoe to save your life. Wait, we I wouldn't trust it. that hoe, or we wouldn't trust that man? We wouldn't trust none of them. Oh, okay, just being clear. Just being... We don't need the one-sided blame. No, no, we're not doing the one-sided blame. However, you see the hoe coming, this nigga's a problem in general, and you knew that in here, and you knew that down here, but oh right, and up here. Um, but you 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 see the whole coming. You kind of know like. Mm, mm, mm. I get what you're saying. Poker vibes, right? I, I I totally I totally understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Um, and it also goes like with men. Like I personally feel like we can see the red flag. We yeah, just but that's, ignore that's your end. Right. I feel like we definitely see the red flags and we choose to I, ignore them. I think the thing is, is that by the time you see quote unquote red flags, you already knew in here, those things were just confirmation of right. what you knew in here. But I right. think there's a difference between a something telling you absolutely not back up what the hell reverse and your fear being like, okay, well, hold on. This is unfamiliar. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm not quite sure how to process it. So the safest way for me to deal with this is to just back off. Let me back away. Right. Or let me become guarded because a lot right, of exactly. us just put up that guard. Exactly. So I think the thing is if you're not, if your intuition isn't <laughs> trained to, this is a live show people. So we gonna deal. Yeah, um, if your intuition it's a lot going on behind the scenes. Is not trained to pick up on certain things. You literally might be running away from something that is there to help you to grow because it's easier. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, or, or more often than not, I hear a lot of people talk about intuition in terms of what they shouldn't be doing, what they shouldn't have done, where they shouldn't have gone, right. that they shouldn't have stayed home. Right. Right. But there's a lot of times that thing have told you what you should have. Exactly. Yeah. But you don't quite know, you're more hesitant to believe the go forward right. 
than you are the stuff. Right. So then the question becomes, okay, well, how do you, how do you know if it's intuition talking or it's if it's your, if it, it's, there's so much happening this season, but you know what? It's okay. Y'all still love it. Yeah. We should probably call this episode Ratchet TV because we really did get off topic too. Oh, we we're are just, always off topic though. Yeah. We're totally talking about intuition, but we're not talking about the topic topic because I totally forgot what the topic was. Okay. The topic was, okay. why are you being so nice? Yes. Bitch, you knew. Because I think the other thing is that when somebody, I think it's part of the red flags thing, mm -hmm. is like these things are showing up and that's part of a red flag of, hold on a second, this person is not being, this ain't you. This is not this you. not you. What, what, what's what going on? Right. What's because, going on? Have you ever, have your intuition ever told you something was going on and then it wasn't? Or your time. intuition? That's why y'all think I'm kind of crazy. Oh. You, and it's probably because you watch <laughs> that. No, I think the thing is, is that I'm overly guarded. I am overly, overly guarded. I am overly cautious. I can, I can understand I will that. Overthink something to death. I can understand. And there that. will be nothing going I mean, on. Even the AC wants and, to know. And oh, yeah, again, live show. So you know what? Welcome. This is the AC, or maybe my mother is talking to us, and she's probably like, "Bitch, what the fuck?" She might say, "Bitch, what the fuck?" So hi, yeah. So this is what's happening. Anyway, um, still got she crazy. Intuition. And crazy, and yeah, my intuition has probably stopped me from doing a lot a of, lot thi of Not, things. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't say my intuition. I would say that there's something inside of me that would be unsettled. And sometimes, and you know what? Sometimes therapy. you make the right decision, and sometimes you don't. This is straight therapy. Don't you just love it? Straight therapy. Go ahead. I'm okay. listening. But, but you know what I mean? Like, but that's, that, and that's kind of what you do. And we didn't have to pay anybody for this. Well, we should, I should probably pay somebody. Get it out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but you understand I didn't mean what to laugh that loud. But, but you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, I've made decisions and I'm just like, this is happening. I know it. And then you get there and it's like, oh, well, that didn't happen at all. My bad. Just kidding. Yeah. You understand? And so it's, I, it's about a training the intuition. That's definitely what 2019 has taught me. We are our worst enemy. We stand in our own way. It's so much that we probably could have already had, but we didn't listen to our intuition. We were too guarded. Or thinking we that intuition doubtful. was, you thinking that it was intuition was actually a fear talking to try and get you to another, to push you beyond where you are. Mm -hmm. A lot of us get comfortable and that's mm -hmm. not, that's not, that's not your destiny in life. You're supposed to be greater than that. You're supposed to take certain risks. Yeah. You're supposed to do this. But I think but. that's the thing with having a, like the first thought and then all the thoughts that come after it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're, because usually at least I felt like your first instinct, like the absolute first thing that you, like I had a job years and years and years and years and years ago. And I, from the Second, I met that um, that person. I knew this wasn't it. Yeah, like yeah. that second that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is not it. And then yeah. you kind of get, oh, okay, well maybe this could work. And you try to fit it into this, and you try to fit it into that, or whatever, whatever, whatever. And you're just like, my first instinct was, bitch, run. Yeah, and I should have run. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, you know, you try to make it right. But that's, but that's what people do. Because they don't trust that very, 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 very first instinct. Like you said, we have a lot of unconditioning we need to do. Oh, absolutely. Like we have, but I understand what you were saying because people don't understand that about me. It's like, oh, she's guarded. She's mean. I really can feel your energy before yeah, you I speak. Believe that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not that I'm being mean. I see the fuck shit that you're getting ready to bring. I mean. I really, like, I see it. That's one thing we were talking about the whole dating. Like, I wish more women just dated. And when I say date, just go out on a date, mm -hmm. okay? He, you, you see him it. Saturday night, right. You see him Saturday night and he wants to get to know you. All right, cool, he's attractive. I like him, he seems to be all right. You know, we talk on the phone, everything is good. And then you go and meet him Tuesday and face to face, it's like, I'm feeling some energy that I know that you, he's I don't a, know what it is, but this is not going to work. I already he's know He's a rapper man. Right. So let's go ahead and eat. Let's have a good time for tonight and let's Don't just want move to eat on. The you know what I mean? And that's only if my intuition tells me. Sometimes my intuition was like, girl, go out again. You know what I mean? Because right, I've yeah. been, like I told you, I've been that person who kind of live on the wild side. Like, I will go to another island and venture off by myself. Mm -hmm. I would do it. Don't tell my mother, please don't. 
But I get that, you know, I get a feeling that I'm going to be okay. And I always do. Now, right. like last night, I'm, I was in these streets by myself at like right. midnight and something told me, turn around, make Go a U-turn. Yeah. Like just last night at the little corner store, I was like, turn around, make a U-turn. Uh -uh. mm -hmm. And I listened to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I go... But and you're here today, right? So, I'm, yeah, I'm here, I'm here today. So I, you know, like it's I, the energy. You know what I mean? Sometimes do you, people, but do you, you believe, believe in that. energy? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm an energy person, mm. and I've been this way from a kid. I've been that little mean child guarding my mother. Yeah, my mother's a Gemini, very friendly, and I, I saw a lot of snakes, mm -hmm. and I told her, and no, she don't listen, and then it, will, you know, it plays all out. Nigel, the same way. I'm I very trusting it. people, and I get it. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. Like I used to be a very trusting person mm -hmm. and I think that into like that intuition my my intuition will always tell me to run mm -hmm. like and again oh, that's always the oh, not always. always but when you talk about the whole and I'm just being candid here mm -hmm. like you like that's just like I've had so many experiences mm -hmm. where it's kind of like mm, mm, mm -mm. It's kind of like, oh my God, me and my friends have a saying called fuckboy PTSD. Yeah. Ooh, that'll, fuck boy PTSD. That'll, give it, that'll do it to you. Oh, so you're going through fuckboy PTSD. Well, no, but I'm just saying oh, oh, that, oh. It, like, it's, it's, it's kind of like that. So I'll be, I've talked to a lot of females where the guy is genuine and the guy wants to do this. And the guy, like, he is on point, ready to go, whole nine yards. And because of past experiences, you it's kind of like, wait, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, he's, he's at work? Oh, damn. <sighs> work where? When you say work, what you mean? Oh. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And so that first thought, because of those past experiences, is saying, nah, bitch, he don't have a job. Mind you, he can be on somebody's website. You understand? Now, I will also say the lawyer in me will teach you to doubt everything. That's, I, so, so I think My healthcare also, experience, I totally 100%. Yeah. Yo, when I'm reading certain people's comments and I'm like, you don't use a condom. Okay, Sherry, remember, don't judge, don't judge. Remember, don't, you I'll suck judge. everybody's dick. Wait, wait, Sherry, don't judge, don't judge. I'm you probably know, you eat, judging. I won't say know. anything, but I'm in my head. You know, yeah, yeah, like, you, yeah, I have to, but it's, yeah, the healthcare experience, yeah, it's yeah, just, oh, so I totally, your career, I totally 100%. You, you basically, you don't, you don't like understand. get anywhere if you are positive and optimistic and, oh my God, yes, this is. This you have to have that balance. You have to be a realist. I totally get that. And then you the also balance. need, and I'm, I had to learn that as well because, like you, I was very guarded and nope, if the energy is, I'm not giving you a chance for what? I don't need another friend. I don't need another, you know, like I don't need to. I meet think that that's any. the other thing though because it's kind of just like when you say, energy and intuition and whatever that whole thing when you said oh i don't need another fr like, like drake song no new friends yeah you know what i mean and so then it's the question of your intuition you're making a decision based off of head knowledge i.e right. no new friends like you are in this box of no new friends right. and even though you have intuition you're your intuition is saying, go for it, go for it, go for it. And this box is telling you, you know what I mean? So I guess the question is like, how do you, how the hell do you now make the right decision? Well, with my thing, it's like, I don't need new friends. Right. Like, I don't want to meet new people, new but if I meet, is, right, is but, but I'm open to, to meet, destiny. right, but I'm open to meet new people. That's mm -hmm. what I was going to say. Like, I don't need, there's a, sorry, there's a difference between want and need. Yeah, like, absolutely. I don't want, I don't need, you know, well, make, I shouldn't say the word need because mm -hmm. you never know. My destiny might, you know, you, it right. might, I might need that person in my life. So I get that. I don't mm -hmm. want, you know, like I'm okay with what I'm, you know, my life you're, you're, and who you're I'm content. A, my social circle. Correct. Yeah. I'm content. But if I meet a new friend, which I always do for some mm -hmm. reason, come on, you know, like yeah. I'm open to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not guarded in that mm -hmm. sense. You yeah. know what I mean? However, if the energy is not right, you know, every time you meet a young lady mm -hmm. and it's like a bunch of women and you already know before you even sat down that they were talking about you. You feel it. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I like don't when you talk walk to into a, when you walk into a room, you can kind of I don't, feel right. the energy shift. No, I don't want to be your whatever. friend. Then later you come and try to chat. But is that telling you something? Know. Is that just you then feeling the energy shift, or is that saying to you, "Don't trust this group of people"? 
you understand what I'm you're trying to say? You're asking me personally, like my personal experience. Yeah, what's your just personal experience? Because like you can just walk in and walk well, into a room and right. you feel the people are talking about you're doing whatever. And your intuition is telling you that these people are talking about you. Okay, so fine. Now that you know that, you're, the en you, the, you've read the energy in the room. What's next? Suppose your destiny is tied to that person in the room. Like, what, what, what I was, do you do? I was just getting ready to say, it depends. Like, I'm really led by my energy. I, I allow, now, I mm -hmm. wasn't this way when I was younger. Obviously, mm -hmm. I was super guarded. But now, I kind of, okay, like, I'm okay with people talking about me. Like, that mm -hmm. doesn't okay, yeah. bother you, yeah. it's, it's like, it's to be expected. Oh, well, you talk about people, it, it is what it is. Right. You know what I mean? But it's like, if the energy is really, really thick and negative, I have been in spaces where yeah. I just had to leave. Oh, yeah, for I'm sure. I'm not going to be there. I'm about, all about not and, tolerating the negative energy. Right. And, and I'm, yeah. I'm a firm believer, if it's meant to be, I will meet that person again. Mm -hmm. That's just me. If yeah. it's my destiny, I will meet them again. I don't feel like I've ever walked on something that was for me and I never got it. I get that. I, I, it so may have been so delayed. It's also not forcing the issue then. Right. I, I, let, I let nature take its course. You know, I've... Right now, currently, right now, I've been in situations where I know you were talking about me. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now you want to be my friend. It's cool because a lot of people, their first perception of me is she's a bitch. Oh, first so I of totally me, get it. Current perception of me. Right. So I'm okay. I understand, and now I get it. So all right, you you just you thought that I was a bitch. Now you know you met me, and yeah. you, you see that I'm cool. Cool. Now we get to know each other, and we could actually do a lot for each other. And I let that go. Do you I think let it go that and, your intuition? Because I believe that you know your the first the first thought is generally the direction that you need to be going in. Not and for me, because can... I do have an ounce of crazy. Okay. So it may be like 40, 60. My intuition 40, is on point maybe 60% for... of the time, 40 okay. off sometimes. Okay. Okay. Because you, you, you do have an ounce of crazy. Right. I mean, so wait, so when you, because I remember we had a conversation before about sage and all those different mm -hmm. things. Now, I haven't saged. I might be the bad energy in the room. I might disappear. So I don't know about the sage thing yet. Mm -hmm. But how does that work then? What so like you if you, because, okay, because I remember you were saying something about you, 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 you know, you, you do this, you do this with the thing. <laughs> right. With uh -huh. the, 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 the burning leaves. of the Anglican churches. Yeah, like the, the, the thing, oh, uh -huh. they were saging on the place. That's what they were doing? No, they were using, I think it's frankincense. Frankincense, I oh, think. Oh, like what they gave to Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what Sa they were. So they basically were remember. saging on the place. I'm sorry, Anglicans. Maybe that was inappropriate. Um, no, it's, it, it's, you know, it, in the church, it's different. Yeah, but in the spiritual world, it's so to bring about certain then? spirits. It's to bring about certain good energy. You want to bring certain good energy to you and around you. Okay. So you clear out the bad energy with the I sage. I get that. You know what I mean? You clear it out and then some people burn different. I don't want to go into the different names because then it's gonna, we're going to And also very I'm going to be very confused and I'm topic, sure if... Yeah. Sensitive. I but what even, about. even, even before, even before doing all of that, mm -hmm. like let's just say when, you, you know, when I was younger and whatnot, like just talking to God yeah. or the spirit, whoever you talk to is just like, okay, well, when I go in here, I want the energy to be good. So, yeah. you know, like pave that way for the energy to be, you know, mm -hmm. whatever the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Right and the thing is, and I don't doubt it, in. you know what I mean? But I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, cause I've never done it. And again, I might sage and I might disappear because I might be the bad energy. No, I you have won't. no idea. No, you have good intentions. But, you know what you I mean? You have good, you, the only issue is you're guarded. And I oh, think yeah, for I, sure. that, that's it. Absolutely. And I've been there before. Like I, I told this story, I wrote it on my blog or whatever. A lot of people know the story. I wrote it about two years ago on Father's Day. My, I wasn't raised with my father. My parents uh -huh. got divorced when I, before I could walk. They got mm. divorced early. And we reconnected when I was 19. I've never, I've never seen my father or anything like that the whole 19 years. And we reconnected in 19. And I've always, like I told you, I've never had man problems. I've, I've had relationship issues. Uh -huh. I, I don't want anybody to think that all my relationships have been perfect. But I was able to, okay, you did that, all right, bye, peace. I'm only going, like, I'm not fighting with anybody. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I was able to do that with certain guys. Okay, but was, how was that based? But the thing the is, I didn't understand that I was guarded. Like, okay. when we, like, yeah. certain arguments that I had with certain men I was dealing with, they were stupid, they were pointless. And oh, it was yeah. because I wasn't willing to communicate. I wasn't willing to let my guard down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was, all right, F you, moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you said, maybe it was a missed opportunity. But I yeah. feel like if it was meant to be, they would it still would, be they there. Would, they would still be yeah. there, or they would, they would still be in contact there, be a way right. to... 
But it wasn't until I reconnected with my father and it was natural. It was a very, very natural bond. Mm -hmm. And we became extremely, extremely close. Like a lot of people did not know that I was not raised with my father. Uh Like our relationship was super duper great. Yeah. And it wasn't until I got with him my guard just came down. Yeah. And I never even I never even put two two and two together because mm-hmm. I was raised with a grandfather. I was raised yeah. with my uncles. I was raised with a, a, a bunch of male cousins. So I had a lot of male love and I didn't think that I was one of those women who, you know, was lacking, you know, the male yeah. energy and love. I, I didn't think it affected me. But yeah. it wasn't until I realized I'm like, I'm a lot nicer. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, and I wasn't even trying. Nigel even said it. Nigel mm. was like, you used to be so mean. And even things with he and I just flowed. Oh, really? It was like, all right, just let the energy. And I was just a lot nicer. So I feel like once you let that guard down, oh, yeah, and you I can't force it. You can't force it. It's going to no. come naturally. Because if like I you said, you myself. go through your PTSD. OK. Do, you know I mean, what I mean? Go through it. Like I always tell people, you got to grow uh, through it. But... I mean, go through it so you can grow through it. I say that oh, all yeah, the time. For sure. Don't force it. Let it happen yeah. naturally. But once that guard is down, maybe after a yeah. couple of shots of tequila, I don't know. I don't know what's going to take my guard, my, my guard down. But you It'll know, come. it's OK. It'll come. The fact that you're even talking about it, sorry. Oh. But you know how many women don't even know that they have like, I'm not, I don't want to say issues because that sounds like you have issues. You like, you have subscriptions. I think everybody has issues. We though. do. Ev- like, ev- I think we that do. that's the other thing. Like, everybody's got, baby, I am everybody's working. got something. What's your issue? What is my issue? Because you know, we need, we need a real good deep therapy session. Jesus. I can't get rid of this fucking temper. Oh my God. I want it to go. I want it to huh? go. Your temper? I want my temper to go away. I don't think I have a bad temper. <sighs> I want oh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if we have the bandwidth. To do. <laughs> wow. No, I mean, I think the thing, I'm, I'm very, very guarded, and I will... You won't I, allow people I, to get close to you? That, and I also think that I, if the person is not strong, I will run roughshod right over you. Yeah. And I can't deal with that. Yeah. So, it's a part of that is being, not being submission submissive but i've also you don't need to be submissive well not necessarily i wouldn't say i wouldn't say okay wrong word you're right that word wrong word but being able to you know i'm used to adapt take adapt to others right to blend to mesh well to let it flow right i get it i'm there i'm a very very this is what we're doing okay i I will make the plans like it's hard That's for me. you to just go with the flow. Oh yeah, for I sure. I get it. I and totally, let somebody, totally and so I wouldn't understand. say submissive. I would say let somebody else lead. And I'm like, it, it's just, because I'm used to leading. I'm used to, not. Well, I'm not saying lead, but you know, it's like what we're doing. This is what we're doing. I, I, you understand I, what I'm I to think say? it might be where you just because I, I totally understand what you're saying because it's hard for me to allow others to be in control over me. Yes. Yes. I would follow your lead. Okay, this is what we need to do. And yeah. I'm talking about yes. any relationship, yeah, yeah. work, yeah, friendship. Work, whatever, All right, right, this is what you want to do. I'm going to follow your lead. But when it, it's not sitting right with me, you can't have control over my life. Oh, yeah, and yeah. What, so I, I get what you're saying. So, yeah. You so, won't allow yeah. people to, like, take control. If you want to go to the movies or dinner, I'm setting the reservations because I know you're going to fuck it up. Right. Get it. So it's not like I know you're going to fuck it up, but I, it's okay. So I know that it's done. All right, cool. I'll just do it. This is what we're doing. Okay, cool. This is what we're doing. You say the word, I take off and, tr- yeah. and, and, and make it happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Anyway, I'm thirsty. And we're so off topic. We, did we even talk about the N word? Huh? Did, we, did we even talk about N word? I know what you're doing because my intuition told me, why are you being nice to me? Why are you buying gifts? Why are you trying to butter me up? We didn't even talk about it. But we did, but we can show. talk about it next show. Another time. No, that's fine. We've Hi. off topic. We've had interruptions. Totally. We've had, I think maybe my mother has come to she collect has. me. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Good therapy session. But you know, so I breathe. cool. It feels good, right? We will see y'all next time. Anyway, I'm still thirsty. Bye. <laughs>